I call this meeting to order. Will the secretary please read the minutes of the last meeting? You know, I emailed copies of the minutes to everyone here, but I didn't bring any printed copies with me. Does anybody have any changes they want to make? I have a change. I had to leave the last meeting early, so I didn't take part in the discussion on the project to clean up the park after the 4th of July picnic. I object to some of the things said, and I think it was a major mistake to take on this project, and I want the minutes of the last meeting to reflect my objection. You know, the minutes record what was said at the meeting. You can't go back and add what you would have said if you were there. Then I think we should reopen that discussion so that I can have my comments recorded in this meeting, and everybody will know that I didn't want us to take on this crazy project. That is what I am going to tell everyone when this thing turns into a circus. That's a valid request, but this is the wrong point in the agenda. We'll take that up under old business later on. Well, that's fine, except I have to leave early tonight. Can we move my report up to the first part of the agenda? I have a soccer practice for one of my sons, and I can't miss it. You can move the old business section from the end of the agenda right after my report. So the minutes are accepted as emailed by the secretary. Let's move on to the financial report. I also emailed the uh, financial statements to everybody. Does anybody have any questions? Hearing no objections, we will accept the treasurer's report as emailed. So now we can move on to John's report on international service. I talked to uh, Pablo uh, Ramirez of the Tijuana Club last week. Um, I said we would go ahead with a project to read our orphanage in Tijuana this year. We really need all of the members of the club to commit to go down that weekend in February and take on this project. We will need $7,000 to complete our commitment. Uh, what $7,000? Uh, that was not in the budget and neither was the project. How do you plan on finding the money? I plan on taking the $7,000 away from Casa Opportunity to build a house in, in Tijuana Project. That is something we've never done before and there's no reason for us to start this year. That money will be much better used for the orphanage. Wait a minute. I committed us to Casa Opportunity. I told the district governor at Pets that we are in on her Casa Project. The governor said that it's important that we all go down there and build a dozen homes. You may be the international service director, but I am the president of this club. You can't make decisions like that. I committed the club to the CASA project. Well, then, I, I guess we are committed to both projects. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where is the money for either of these projects? That brings us back to the 4th of July picnic project. We can cancel that project and use that money for our international service project. There was no money allocated to the 4th of July picnic project. It's a simple hands-on service project. There's no revenue there. We still need to know where the money is going to come from for the service sorry, project. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, 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 Madam President. Late. Did I miss anything important? Not really. It uh, seems a couple of people have committed the club on uh, two projects that will cost about $14,000 that we don't have, but I'm sure there's a brilliant answer to be offered in the next few minutes. Well, actually, that leads right into my idea. If every member of this club brings in three new members over the next three quarters, that's just one new member per, per quarter per member, that'll bring in 150 new members. Now, with our $100 initi initiation fee, we'll have an instant 15 foul. I found this very motivational speaker for the next meeting. We'll get this plan rolling right away. We already have programs booked for the next two months. And let's not forget our little budgetary problem, namely that our current dues and meals charges don't cover our current meal costs. The plan was as we made up for our visitor meals, but we don't have many visitors. So I guess membership needs to do some work. Well, I think it sounds like we need a major dues increase and bump up in meal charges. But well, we can not increase dues and meal charges. It'll ruin our membership drive. What we need is a good fundraising idea. Hey, come on. We've been a club for over 30 years, and we've always managed to eat and do some pretty amazing projects. It always seems that by the end of the year, we've been able to raise money so that things even out between operating costs and donations for projects. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We really shouldn't be doing fundraisers just to cover our operating costs. Well, why not? Well, 
That's what the guy told me at district assembly. Since everyone is so interested in doing a fundraiser, we might want to move that topic onto the agenda. I wish I could tell you that my committee has a whole bunch of great fundraising ideas. I have called two committee meetings, but nobody showed up for either one. It seems my committee is dysfunctional. Does anyone have any good ideas of how we can raise some money? Well, why don't we just do the 10K run like we did for so many years? The, the 10K <laughs> netted $1,200. And we put it in 10 hours each or 500 hours. That was $2.40 per hour net. And we are all going, getting too old to run 10K. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on the side here, guys, uh, maybe we should look at sponsoring a wheelchair and walker race. Uh, we'd better come up with something sooner. We won't have enough money for lunches, much less rebuilding an orphanage in Mexico. You know, I, I appreciate the problems you face as a trip now. It seems my job is completed. I found a project. Now you <laughs> need to figure out how to fund it. Meanwhile, I'm going to send out an email to all of our members, tell them that we should avoid the 4th of July picnic cleanup and cast a missed what? opportunity. Wait, wouldn't it seem like a better idea for us to solve these problems at the board mem level and not involve all the members? Don't worry about the general membership. They won't show up for a committee meeting, much less take a stand on anything. Hey, speaking of attending meetings, where's Joe? He hasn't made one board meeting this, yet this well, year. Joe only agreed to serve on the board if he didn't have to attend meetings. He's doing a great job with Youth Exchange. He gave me a 